Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm playing with uh, one of the ColourPop palettes that I don't think gets enough love. And yes, I am knocking over things. That always happens. So I thought we'd go ahead and get started with it. Uh, this is the Tower 28, the Melrose shade. And so that's what I have on as my base today. And then I went ahead and used ColourPop Pretty Fresh and uh, as my concealer. As far as what I used for my cheek color, I started off with Pixie, and this one is called Peach Parfait. And it looks really pink to me. It doesn't look peachy to me, but so that's what I started off with. And then I went ahead and added some of this Clean Fresh uh, CoverGirl 390 and um, to go over the top as far as a um, more of a topper kind of thing. Uh, this one is dark. It's almost a plum. And then to go ahead and use this highlighter, I went ahead and used chiffon. And this one is actually from this so very lovely collection. And this is uh, one of their super shock cheeks. So I actually used it as a highlighter today. And then the reason that I went ahead and um, started playing with so very lovely is that I remembered this shade is close to the wisteria shade that's in the new um, Anastasia palette so I thought that I'd go ahead and play with this and see what kind of look I could get and this is a really it's a real conflicting kind of palette because you have let's see this whole row, this, this, and this, which they're all going to be really cool tones. I mean, cool, cool tones. And then these two, this, and this, and they're really warm tones. So it it goes, it doesn't have any in between. It's one side of the spectrum and the other side of the spectrum. Um, but the formula on this is pretty great. And as far as what I used, I used this one on the inner corner. It's a silver. And then I went ahead and used uh, this shade, and this one is actually called Macaroon. And I used it on the brow bone and then on the inner corner. And um, I went ahead and did this one on the lid, and this is a red purple. And then on the outer lid, I put a cool purple, which is this one right here. So there's a whole bunch of contrasting everything in this one. And so as far as um, this shade, I think I'll put a little bit more in the corner. It's not easy doing that in the viewfinder. It just isn't because you... Anyway, enough of my problems today, huh? So um, this is what I used on the eyes. And then I also used ColourPop Gel Eyeliner as well. Here's how the look turned out. And let me see. As far as what I did on the brows, I did the NYX um, Thicket Stick It and Light Ash Brown. And I went ahead and used the She Glam for the mascara. And then for the lip gloss, I'm using the Tower 28. This is in Cashew. Again, it's interesting trying to do this in the viewfinder. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see, as far as this, so very lovely, I love this packaging. I think it's Art Nouveau or Art Deco, but whatever it is. And then on the inside the palette, I mean, it just sparkles and twinkles. And, you know, it has all those really pretty, pretty details to it. So I think it's a palette that definitely doesn't get enough love. And it definitely has some really good looks in it. Um, I'm almost tempted to say that it's sort of like the uh, Gather Round Sisters palette, at least as far as the uh, the shimmers go, because they're not um, they're not vibrant shimmers. They're all a little bit more toned down. So uh, this is the Gather Round Sisters. And I guess it's probably the purples that I think are just about the same. Yeah. 
they're not exactly the same, but they have a lot of the same uh, colors to them. And um, yeah, and the Gather Round Sisters, yeah, it's definitely more of a cool tone palette. And this one is the So Very Lovely is actually, um, like I said, it's going to be on each side of the spectrum kind of palette. So a palette that doesn't get enough love and needs, yeah, some love. There you go. And last time I checked, it was still available on the ColourPop website. As far as bronzer, I went ahead and used the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzet. I have it in the light shade, and it turns out to be sort of a golden with a lot of shimmer in it. And then as far as what I use for my face powder, Sungasm. And uh, this is by Catrice. You can get it on the Catrice website. And I think that's just about the look. I think that's kind of the whole thing. And I am going to go ahead and stop this video before the thunder starts going boom all over everywhere. You know when you can just feel it coming in? Well, it's almost here. So I'll see you later and have a good day. Bye.